and welcome back. All right, now we got 15 more minutes. So we'll be at 9.05. Okay, just got that, and now we got that out of the way. So we got the particles, the light rays from the bright spots in the water, and the particles only affecting within the light rays. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we want to make some nice atmosphere, and then we just make some fishies, and we're done. So we'll add a new layer, new solid, not a layer. Well, it will be making a new layer, but not what I meant. All right, so fact, noise and grain, fractal noise. Let me just bring up the contrast, look at the brightness. I think that'll be fine. We'll call it, ta -ta -ta. whoa. Bring this to, I guess it'll be fine on the top. Let's change it to screen. And we'll mask out the top part to the bottom. F for feather and just feather it a bit. Probably you're gonna need to adjust that. Then we'll add a, oh, what's, make it animate so go back in the fact noise I'll click on the evolution and type in time times 200 no 100 not so much so now those are animating and then we'll add a go here add a mesh warp to it and maybe lower the count that and then just start warping it I hate that when you click on it, it just moves the layer you gotta be like right on those points so just move it around to make it look a little more random bring these points down maybe every other one I know this is entertaining but you know Let's just get this over. Oh, God damn it. Come on. There we go. All right. So now it's just uh, distorting it a little bit more while it's animating. And now we'll add a. Uh, Come on. You know you want to. Add a hue and saturation. We'll change the color of it a little bit. Colorize. Make it a blue, not purple, blue. And then we'll add a fast blur. Fast blur, repeat edge, and you can turn this up. You can see it makes a nice effect, but I figured it, it looks nicer when you on the just the horizontal. And let's see, crank that up a little more. And hit T. We don't need that fully. Up. Maybe I'll add uh, curves to it because I'm not, the, not liking the way it's looking. Darken it. Depending on the look you're going for. So now we got these nice animated. Maybe I'll go full. Give it a minute. So it's all right. Yeah, now we gotta make our fishes. We got this nice atmosphere. I think it was actually looking a little bit better in my first comp. Let's see how that looks. Atmosphere. Fractal noise. Did I do something different in there? Times a hundred. Yeah, you got that right. Basic. Mesh warp. Fast blur. 80. Horizontal. Maybe it was just my mesh warp. Who knows? Let's see if I copy them. Wait, actually, let's try this here let's bring the mesh warp on the bottom a little bit better that's what I was kind of aiming for 
yeah, I'm, I'd be satisfied with that. All right. So now that I got that out of the way, let's make our, well, let's go back to our particles and just add a glow to that stack. Now they're a little bit brighter. And then maybe I'll just lower the opacity because they're a little too bright now. That's looking cool. All right, let's work on our fishy. And I think we'll make him in a... Yeah, we'll make him in a new comp. All right, so go to project. Click the new comp button. We'll make this 200 by 200. OK. And now we'll add a solid. Make it black. OK. And let's see if I can master my fish making skills again. Click, shift click. Going up. Going down, a little curve, another little curve, another little curve, and then I'll just shift click, end it, and we'll duplicate it. G, hide all that. Now just the mask. And move this so it's just about there. And move it up. Ho oh ho! Looking terrible. <laughs> Maybe they just feather it. Oh, yeah, not doing that. All right. Yeah, I don't need a feather. I'm just gonna adjust the mask a little on both of them. At the tip, so they don't look so deformed. <laughs> Good enough for this tutorial. <laughs> Alright, let's get this over with. Alright, so take them both, pre comp them, call them fish. So now we got a fish. A bad fish, but you know, whatever. And we'll go back to our comp and drag our fish thing back in here. Not back, but for the first time. And we'll just position him over to here. And we will, well, at the beginning of a comp, hit P, add a keyframe, and I'm just going to move him over. Yep. Of course, I didn't move to the end of the comp. And I'll move him over. And I'll move this keyframe to like one second so he doesn't come in right away. And then Mr. Fishy's in here. I think I want to make him lower. So it goes through the light ray. So grab these two ends like that. And now he walks, he just comes through. Might be a little big, so I'll just scale him down now. Alright, and so now let's get a little wiggly effect in here. This part's gonna get a little awkward, mainly because I don't remember. So I'll click on the position. We're gonna have to make a nice little expression. So we'll go X equal well first hold on. Turn this off. Yep, I'll accept those errors. No big deal. Alright. So go on your fish and go add uh, two effects. Go to expression controls and make a slider. And then duplicate it, and then call one X, and then call one Y. Now I'll click on your expression and type in X equals the X slider, and then add a sem uh, semicolon? Yeah, whatever, that thing. And then space down and say Y equals wiggle. For a begin parentheses, 2, comma, 10, I think works well. And that, and then say plus 
and then take the pick whip and then say the wide slider and then add the semicolon again enter enter and then just begin bracket x comma y and bracket so it'll say whatever we tell it over here that'll be the position of the x and then the y will wiggle and we can also adjust it accordingly if it's a little off and then that's just saying that applies to the x and y those are the values so well of course i messed up somewhere let's see where i messed up oh i said y minus not equal there we go yep still wrong okay what are we doing here let me just check my fishy comp Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I forgot. And our fish, you... Nope, that's our comp back. Our wiggle, we have to type in at the uh, after the parentheses. Begin bracket, zero, and bracket. And now it'll work. So now we got a fish who's just going everywhere. Let's actually delete those position keyframes we did earlier. So now he's all the way up there, which is not where we want him. I'm just going to go half res. So on the Y axis, we will bring it up, which is down. And then we'll add a keyframe for the X at, uh, well, let's take that back. Add a keyframe for the X at 1. And we'll put it there. And then we'll bring him to the end. And then we're going to bring the X up all the way till he's out of the frame and now he wiggles and he moves across and then just duplicate him and then you can offset those get you so you can go you uh, to this one beginning and you could change the y height and then the position and you can have two fish wiggling I'm just gonna do two now because we're running out of time and I don't know if I need anything else so now we're just gonna pre comp both those what am I typing fish comp and then we'll add a fast blur them repeat turn it up so we could adjust the silhouette put them behind everything maybe lower the opacity just a little bit and there you go pretty much so now they animate across wiggling go through our light rays we made pretty awesome and uh Oh yeah, also, if you want to just turn on the Instant Awesome button, just all click on the 8 bits per channel, and then do it till it says 32-bit, uh, and that will make everything just a lot better, just right off the bat right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything's animating. I do a RAM preview for you, but we only have like two minutes left. And I think that's pretty close to what we had in the original. I think I might like in our new one better with that render. So, yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this. It was fun making this tutorial. Um, yeah, that's pretty... It's pretty close. Maybe though this our little atmosphere effect is a little much. Maybe a little lower. And then maybe scale the fish down a little more. A little big. Oh, we can't scale in that comp. Uh, and our, we have to go into our main comp and scale him down. That way, he still will, you know, will be proportional through everything. All right, guys, that'll be it for me. Hope you had some fun, and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, peace.